<laughs> I'm reading the word, I'm going over the word, and sometimes it changes the word for me. Amen. Amen. But uh, I come across this, and uh, uh huh, and I wanted to share it with you. And uh, maybe next week I'll give you a handout on this. But if you want to write it now, you can write it. Amen. It says, if you don't know how to pray. Okay. So let's stop saying it. I don't know how to pray. Amen. I don't know how to pray. How do I pray? If you don't know how to pray, pray the word. Amen. God never talks to me. God never talks to me. Well, you never open the, the word. word. He, he wants to talk to you. Uh -huh. He says, I stand at the door and knock. Yes. You got to let me in. I want to talk with you. Amen. If you don't know how to pray, pray the word. Amen. <laughs> if you don't know the answer, mm -hmm. read the word. Yes. <laughs> if you don't know the answer, read the word. The answer is in the word. And if you don't know how to say what to say, if you don't know what to say, speak the word. Amen. Amen. So you're going to pray, you're going to read, and you're going to speak the word. Amen. That's life in the word. It says Amen. life and death are in the power of the tongue. Amen. you got to speak it out. Amen. It's okay to have it in you, but that seed is not going to grow unless you sow it. You plant it in somebody. Amen. you got to pass it on. Amen. It's going to do what God intended for you to do. Be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. You may not feel well, but you got to release it and give it. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Woo, hallelujah. I'm happy already, church. Praise <laughs> God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll do a handout for you next time. And these handouts that I give you, don't throw them away. Save them. And if you don't get filled or full of it, pass it to somebody else. Say, you know what? I want to bless you with this. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We want to welcome all of you that are joining us right now. Amen. We've already had some church, and we're here excited. Amen. Amen. So those of you that are watching, so those of you that are uh, are hearing or viewing us, we want to welcome you. Amen. Welcome to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Amen. Here in Marfa, Texas, and we want to welcome you. A happy Sunday morning to you. Yes. All we want you to do is just get yourself ready to receive what God has for you. Amen. Amen. He always has something for us, but are we willing to receive and do what the Word of God says. Amen? Amen? Be obedient to what the Word of God says. So we want to be hearers and doers of His Word. Amen? Amen. So praise God. Don't want to leave like you came. That's right. If you come loaded with uh, cares and troubles and all kinds of things, mm. leave it at the altar. Yeah. <laughs> Don't take it back with you. <laughs> Lord, I want to give you this. And when you leave, you leave full. Yeah. Leave full of the Word, not yeah. full of what you came with. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Give it all to him. He says, cast it on me. He, didn't, he just didn't say, lay it. He says, cast it on me. Give it to me. I mean, cast means you're just going to dump it on him, you know, and give it to him because he wants it. Because he wants you to fulfill what he's called you to do. And yeah. I'm getting way ahead of myself. But if you didn't get this last week or the week <laughs> before, you can get it now. Amen. Who are you? I am blessed, chosen, yes. adopted, accepted, redeemed, and forgiven. Amen. And on fire. Serving God. Amen. Amen. On fire, serving Him. Mm -hmm. You know, a happy, joyful Christian follower of Jesus going somewhere to happen for somebody. Amen. Amen. Isn't that something? You're going to relieve somebody that's in bondage. Somebody that's in uh, sickness, you know. And the enemy don't want, I mean, God doesn't want you this way. He wants you to be free mm -hmm. so you can do these things. I am free. Amen. I am blessed. Chosen, accepted, mm -hmm. adopted. Amen. You are a child of God. Yes. Amen. Excited for you. Woo, hallelujah. I'm already excited. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. We're going to be talking today. And I want you to be ready. Be blessed. Be encouraged. Be changed. Don't come as you can. Come free. Release. Be, be released. Amen. So, I don't need these right now. <laughs> Serve Him with passion. I'm just going to give it a little intro because next week we celebrate our anniversary month of the church. It'll be six years. Amen. So get excited. I want to give you a quick, a good pep rally today. Serving him, serving him with passion. Amen. Serving him with passion on a daily basis, not just once in a while when you feel like it. Okay. But all the time. Be happy. Amen. Enthused. 
yes. child of God on fire for Jesus. Yeah. Going somewhere to happen. There are too many sad people out there already. Don't join them. That's right. Don't join the crowd. Amen. When they see you come, that joy, the joy of the Lord is on you, mm -hmm. wants to rub off on them. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I don't, you know, when, uh, when David came, Jesse sent, Jesse sent David, little David, to go and bring some lunch to his brothers who are fighting uh, the enemy. Uh -huh. Amen. And he goes up there and he didn't join them. They're not even talking about God. All they're talking about is the problem that's in yeah. front of them. Yeah. Goliath. That's all they're talking about. They're so marveled, you know, it's this humongous person up there. <laughs> you know, you marvel at your magnify your problems more than you magnify your God. Uh -huh. Amen. And that's what they was doing until David showed up, little David. <laughs> and says, you know what? Nobody's talking God. What about God? My God is bigger than this thing up there. And you know what? I know who's, who I am, and I know who's back of me, yeah. and I want to bring this giant down. And that's you going on somewhere to happen. You know, <laughs> there's enough sad people out there. Oh, yeah. and you're the joy that's going somewhere oh, yeah. to happen for somebody. Amen? So don't say, well, who am I? Well, if you read these things, you're somebody. Mm -hmm. Sent by God. Who sent you? God sent me. <laughs> but when they see you, and they see it on you, and they see it on your face. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've told you this so many times. You're the closest thing to a Bible they'll ever see. Yes. They'll ever yes. read. Yes. They'll yes. ever open or be close to. That's right. So what am I going to bring them? I don't bring them sad news mm -hmm. and be sad with them. Mm -hmm. No, I'm going to bring them the joy of the Lord. I'm going to bring them the word of God. Amen. So there's already too much sadness out there. So just give it your best. God wants us to love him with passion. With all our hearts, we must be on fire for Him, okay? Amen. We must yes. follow and serve Him yes. with passion. Amen. Amen. I've been to too many pep rallies. I've been to too many sporting events. And you should have seen me when I was at the club, okay? Everybody <laughs> talking about, hey, I know how much you drank. I know how much you danced. I know what you did. I know all about you. We come to church and nobody sees us. Nobody knows us. <laughs> We're so quiet. We get in front of God and we say yes. nothing. Amen. Uh -huh. We got to get excited for him. Yes. <laughs> we are the winners. Yes. yes. We are the winners. So we got to show like we're winners, you know. Uh -huh. When you go to pep rallies, man, you might be 0-1-10, never won a game. But when you get to a pep rally, man, you're going to tear somebody up. <laughs> you're going to go out and win. Amen. Amen. So guess what? When you spend your time with him in the mornings before you go out to face the world or those problems, why not have your pep rally? Have a spiritual pep rally on a daily basis. Give yourself a spiritual bath once in a while, you know. Oh man, I just gotta get I, I just gotta get the world out for me. Amen. So whoo, hallelujah. Amen. Ooh, so this morning I just want you to Take a fresh look at giving it all to Jesus. Surrendering totally to Him. Uh -huh. We got to walk the walk and talk the talk. Watch your words, watch your actions. How's the enemy know about you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gotta put a gotta put a guard on your mouth. Mm -hmm. Gotta put a guard on the words you're saying. Yes. The Bible tells us life and death are in the power of the tongue. Of the tongue. So whatever you're speaking is what you're having. Yes. And guess who's listening? Uh -huh. <laughs> the enemy is listening. And he's following along. And you know why he's following? Because you're opening the door for him to come in. Uh -huh. <laughs> and guess what? He's going to come in. Yes. And he's going to bring friends with him. <laughs> yes. So be careful. Watch your words. Watch your actions. Amen? Amen. And I'm going to tell you something. And don't throw nothing at me. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to get rid of any passion killers there is. Oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> Things that rose of our joy of yes. our passion, of our enthusiasm. Amen. And you just kind of cut loose. <laughs> Let them go. Amen. Those things come to steal the enemy. We'll just remind you of uh -huh. the enemy. He comes yes. to do what? Steal, steal kill, yeah. destroy. Yeah. That's what he wants to do. And sometimes, <laughs> sometimes <laughs> could be family. Sometimes could be friends. Yeah. Okay, you don't know. But you know, I told you this so many times when I asked the Lord to help me with my enemies, take these enemies away. Guess what? I started losing friends. Huh. I started losing family. 
family that told me, don't come and don't speak Jesus in my house. Uh -huh. Family. Mm -hmm. So guess what? Whatever he takes from you, don't take it back. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> don't take it back. Just press right. on with him. Amen. He'll put the right people in front of you. Amen. You know, when when uh, Rusty started this uh, mission, missions over in uh, Boquillas, he didn't know how he was going to do it, but he knew God was with him. Yes. And God put the right people yeah. with him. God put the right people on him. Amen. He's going to do the same for you. What he's done for me, what he's done for all these Bible heroes yes. we read about, God knows you. And he's going to put the right people in Amen. front of you. Amen. Things that stop us from fulfilling what God has called us to do on a daily basis. Yes. Amen. Well, on a daily basis. You know, when you spend time with him, I told you I'm retired military. I spent 20 plus years in the military, retired. And every day we reported there was a plan of the day. And you have to follow the plan of the day. Mm -hmm. So every day we have a plan of the day with him. So why not get before him, your commander in chief, God's army, you stand before him and say, Lord, I just offer myself to you. Mm -hmm. Whatever the plan of the day is, I'm submitted to you. I'm committed to you. I can do all things through Christ. Amen. Amen. You can do it all. You can do it all. Don't go up there saying, well, maybe, uh, I don't know if I can. You know, like Moses is saying, well, you know, I can't talk. <laughs> what is it you can't do? <laughs> God says you can do all things through him. Yes. So whatever it is, just dump it, you know. Yes. <laughs> it ain't going to work. <laughs> we must stay stirred up. Stay focused, yes. stay filled, stay committed, stay on fire with passion for serving Him. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, when they see that in you, they say, I, go, I want what you got. What is it you got? What is it about you? You know, people see you happy and they want to know, well, uh, what is it you found that we don't do? Well, I found, well, I didn't find Jesus. He found me because yeah. I was lost. That's <laughs> we never find Him. We feel, you hear a lot of people say that, you know, well, I found Jesus. Really, where was he? Was he still sitting at the throne of God, sitting at the right hand? Yeah, that's where he's at. Mm -hmm. Well, he found us because we was lost yes. and gone. Uh -huh. Christians, we never retire. We refire. We get restored up and we get, we, 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 we stay focused. Amen? That's right. <laughs> Some of us need this on a daily basis. Amen? We need a daily dose of him. On a daily basis, we need to renew and refire. You refire, you retire from jobs, but you never retire from serving <laughs> God. Amen. Amen. You never right. retire from serving That's God. Right. If I'm a follower of God, I'm going to follow Him until He calls me home. Mm -hmm. And then He'll say, "Well done, good and faithful servant." Yes. Amen. Amen. That's what I want Him to say. That's what He's going to say about you. Mm -hmm. Well done, good and faithful servant. Good and faithful he also servant. tells us, He says, if you want to be great in my kingdom, you know, because it's always about well. I want to do something big. Well, if it's small, big or small, it doesn't matter as long as you're That's a right. servant. He says, learn to be a servant of all. Uh -huh. If you want to be great in God's kingdom, learn to be a servant of all. So, well, I don't care for this group. I don't care for that person. Learn to be a servant of all. Mm -hmm. He may be wanting you to reach. He may want you to reach that person that you hate the most. Mm -hmm. Because the same Jesus died for you, died for them. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do then? You know, when he told Ananias, the prophet, go and pray for Saul. He says, are you kidding me? Do you know who this guy is? He says, he's telling God, do you know who this guy is? He's going around killing Christians, and you want me to go lay hands on him? God didn't say anything, you know. He says, he said, okay. So he went anyway. The prophet laid hands on Saul, and Saul's life changed. You know, one day... We come to Jesus mm -hmm. and our life changed. St. Corinthians says, 517 says, we're new creatures in Christ now. Mm -hmm. So don't let the enemy, don't let family, don't let friends, or anybody else That's right. tell you, you're no good. Mm -hmm. I know you from way back and I know what you're all about. <laughs> but they yeah. don't know about your spiritual born. You're born again. Your yes. spiritual birth. That's you it. Mean? You're born again. You're a new person in Christ. Inside change. Mm -hmm. yes. See, people don't see the inside. <laughs> God does. Yeah. Okay, people see the outside and they see the same person, uh -huh. but the inside is born again. You're a new creature in Christ. You're a new person in Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some of us, <clears throat> we need to remember part-time Christians are no match to a full-time devil. That's right. Amen. You got to remember that. 
Ooh, hallelujah. We must stop playing church. I know you never heard this before. <laughs> Don't throw anything at me now. <laughs> Stop playing church. Uh -huh. Stop the excuses. Well, you don't know, Pastor. I work all week and I work all weekend. I mean, I rest on weekends, okay? Okay. <laughs> Please forgive me. <laughs> but I hear it all the time. <laughs> so, yes, I work two or three jobs during the week. And I serve him on the weekends, but I serve him. We serve him on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Amen. We serve him on a daily basis. Stop using him as a spare tire. As a speaking yes. of spare tire, I had to use mine this week. <laughs> <laughs> somebody uh, put the Yukon on a flat. Don't do that You drive the most of the time. But that's how we treat him, though. Oh, we use him. On emergency cases only. Oh, when crisis come, we use him and we call on him. And the rest of the time, when things are going great, I don't need to right now. Mm -hmm. I'll call you when I need to. That's the yeah. way we, we yeah. talk to him. Uh -huh. Quit using him or stop using him as a spare tire yes. on emergency situations only. That's right. Part timers, part timers, <laughs> part timers hmm. are no match to a full time devil. That's right. He don't take breaks. We do. <laughs> We, you know, we hit that little comfort zone. We hit that little uh, procrastination zone. Mm. <laughs> the little comfy zone. That's when we mm. hang out. So once in a while, you know, I can't, I can't do this full time. You know, well, guess what? He's going full time, mm -hmm. and you know, match to him. Remember, we fight a spiritual battle. Mm -hmm. Amen. We fight a spiritual battle. The only way you're going to get over the spiritual battle is by you being in the Word, by you spending time with Him. Relationship. It's called relationship. When you have relationship and you get into the Word and you build yourself up and build your spirit, man, with the Word of God, and you renew your mind with the Word of God, mm -hmm. and you crucify that flesh because mm -hmm. the flesh, all He knows is comfy. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. And then you got to press on. Press on with Him. Let me read you this one of our texts. It's a scripture. Mark, 11, uh, Mark 12, chapter 12, verses 29 through 31. And I'm going to read it out of the uh, easy to read version. So mm -hmm. if you want to follow along. Mark 12, 29 through 31. Mark chapter 12, 29 through 31. Jesus answered, the most important command is this. It says, people of Israel, listen. The Lord our God is the only Lord. Love the Lord, verse 30. Love the Lord your God with what? All, all your heart, heart, all your soul, all, all your mind, mind, and all your strength. Yes. 31. The second most important command is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. As, yes, excuse me. Love your neighbor the same as you love yourself. These two commands are the most important and I guarantee you in the military when you get a command it's not well if you feel like it yeah. <laughs> or if you want to uh -huh. well, it's just a suggestion no you're going to find yourself mm -hmm. uh, in trouble. a place you don't want to be That's you're going right. to find yourself in trouble yes you're going to find yourself in trouble and guess what <laughs> if they punish you for disobedience what's going to happen to you mm -hmm. when you disobey what God wants you to do Lord told Jonah, go and preach to Nineveh. <laughs> Jonah says, no, I don't. <laughs> God says, go this way. I says, I'm going the other way. <laughs> it doesn't pay to disobey. That's right. <laughs> it doesn't pay good. It'll pay you, but in the, wor in the wrong way. In the wrong way, that's it. <laughs> and these are commands from our commander in chief. He says, Man. do these things. Amen. Love the Lord. Uh, with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and all your strength. It says the second most important is this. Love your neighbor. Look around to your left and to your right, to behind me, and say, hi, neighbor. Hi, <laughs> <Love neighbor. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> right, neighbor. Say, hi, neighbor. <laughs> Those people around you, listen, when you leave yeah. these four walls, you go into your mission fields. Wherever yeah. you happen to go, Vacation, yeah. wherever you happen to work, uh -huh. these are your neighbors. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Wherever you happen to live, yeah. those are your oh, neighbors. Boy. Amen. You got to set a good example. You can't yeah. forget about them. The same Jesus died for them. Well, I can't stand them. <laughs> well, <laughs> who are you telling this to? 
Why don't you, say, why don't you let him know? He already uh -huh. knows about it. You just haven't told him. Uh -huh. <laughs> but he wants to use you. And maybe he hasn't used you because uh, <clears throat> you're not being obedient. That's right. I just wrote these. And you already know these things. But uh, command is an uh, order given with the authority. Yes. Yeah. A general who commands an army can give these orders. Jesus is our commander-in-chief. He gives orders. And we must obey. Command is not a suggestion. If you feel like it, if you want to. Uh -huh. um, it's your choice to either, is, is this your choice? Yeah. To obey or disobey. You will receive the blessing for, dis for obeying. Or you can suffer the consequences for disobeying. Yeah. The choice is yours, but don't say, well, you know, it's because of that person or that person mm -hmm. or somebody else. Somebody else told me, yeah, but you followed along. Mm -hmm. And now it's you that's got to pay for it. You know, when you speak the things you ain't supposed to, if you're not speaking life, you're speaking death. Mm -hmm. You're either positive or negative. Mm -hmm. Whatever you're sowing, words are carriers that carry yes. life and death. That's right. And you're sowing in your own garden. You're mm -hmm. sowing in your own life. Mm -hmm. I don't want these things in my life. Amen. So, church is a healing place for all, spirit, soul, and body. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The church is a healing place where we all meet. Don't leave here like you came. I told you this from the mm -hmm. beginning. You should never leave the presence of God the same way. That's right. Um, he don't want you to do this. That's right. If you go right. before Him and you... Dump it on him, cast it on him, give it to him. Mm -hmm. Then don't leave the same. That's right. You leave change. Anytime yeah. you're in the presence of God, you'll be changed. Moses spent a few times with the Lord, and he didn't come out the same way. <laughs> he was changed. <laughs> Say, whoa, where have you been? <laughs> he was different. They saw the change in him. Don't leave still carrying the same hurts, mm -hmm. the same cares. You should never be unchanged. Insane? Listen, it is insane. You've heard it so many times. Doing the same thing or carrying the same hurt, the same care over and over day after day, year after year, and expecting different results. Doing the same thing. You know, that's why we got to get away from tradition. Wow. Because yes. the way, oh, this is the way it's always oh, been done. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is the way we've always, always done it. Done. But God wants it this way. Yeah. No, but yeah. Tradition yeah. says this way. Uh -huh. We've always done it this way. My parents, my grandparents, oh, all, as far back as you can go, we've always done it this way. Uh -huh. But it doesn't do what the Word of God says. That's right. If it doesn't do what the Word of God says, mm -hmm. Then stop the tradition mm -hmm. and go on with him. Amen. Amen. Follow Amen. him. Amen. Amen. And sometimes Amen. we left families behind because we didn't go with tradition. Oh boy. And so family was left behind and hurt. Uh -huh. Hurt at us for changing. Uh -huh. But we had to make the change because the word of God told us to change. Mm -hmm. And the Bible tells us that I'm getting way ahead of myself, but the Bible says to please God, not men. Mm -hmm. So if we're going to please him, we follow what he says to do, yes. not what people says to Amen. do. Amen. So praise God. I'm a God pleaser, not a man pleaser. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Obey his commands, Amen. confess, release it. Be healed. Don't let the devil or anyone hold you back. That's right. No more. Amen. Well, no, it's not well. It's uh -huh. what the word of God says. Word it's is. going to be this way. Uh, we're not going there no more. We're not going to church. We're not doing this. Well, the word of God says, for this is what I, the word wants me to do. This is what the Lord wants me to do, and it's mm -hmm. going to be this way. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, whatever you want to do is fine. And that's where you start losing friends. You start losing company. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because you're not doing it their way anymore. Their way, yes. And when you're not doing it their way anymore, they just drop off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they only had to because mm -hmm. they could use you. Yes. But then they can't use you anymore. Mm -hmm. So guess what? They're going by the wayside. Mm -hmm. But they're going to see the change. And you ask the Lord to make them hungry. Get them hungry for, yes. for Him. Amen. Amen. The Lord's going to use somebody. Yes. It may not be you. Uh -huh. You may not be reaching your own family. But God's got somebody that can reach them. Amen. Amen. That person. That person that you are praying for. God says, pray for this person. He says, 
Oh, you don't know this person. There's no hope for this person. Mm. Yes, there is. Mm. There's Jesus. Yes. For God so loved the world, He gave Jesus. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> you pray. God will send somebody. Yes. There's somebody yes. that can reach them. Amen. Mm -hmm. He says they all came by the blood of the Lamb and the wood of their testimony. Somebody's got a testimony that's going to touch them. Amen. Oh, the the word of God is going to reach them. Amen. Mm -hmm. So don't give up on them. Pray for them. Amen. Lord, you somebody. You may be that somebody somebody's praying for to reach their loved ones. Yes. <laughs> amen. We all have loved ones. Amen. amen. And we're going to reach them. Amen. For Jesus. Mm -hmm. They're not going to, before he comes, everybody's going to get a chance. Amen. amen. So amen. praise God. Oh, I love this easy to read verse. I'm going to read you something else. <laughs> <laughs> Luke 9, 23 through 26. Luke Chapter 9, verse 23 and 2 to 26. You can sign these and then uh, you can uh, go back and look at it. Easy to read version. Any of you who want to be my followers must stop thinking about yourself. Uh, Hello. Yeah. <laughs> and what you want. Yeah. You must be willing to carry the cross that is given to you mm -hmm. every day for following me. So are you ready to carry the cross he's given you? Mm -hmm. Amen. Are you ready? And this is on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Amen. On a daily basis. Yes. Verse 24. Any of you who try to save the life you have will lose it. But you who give up your life for me will save it. It is worth nothing for you to have the whole world if you yourself yes. are destroyed or lost. That's mm -hmm. right. Amen. So your monies, uh, your things can save you, and guess what? You can't take them with you. That's right. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> 26. Don't be ashamed of me and my teachings. Mm -hmm. If that happens, I will be ashamed of you when I come with my divine greatness mm -hmm. and that of the Father and the holy angels. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Man, I don't want to disobey. You know what? Whatever he's called you to do, know this for one as long as you're here, you know that he's called you to do something. Amen. Yeah. So you need to spend time with him so you can find out what it That's is right. he wants you to do. Yeah. And he don't want you to copy somebody else. That's right. That's he's right. anointed you to do mm -hmm. what he's called you to do. Yes. You may be the little foot yeah. on the toe. You may be the little finger the little on the hand. The little toe on the foot. Toe on the <laughs> or the little finger on uh -huh. your hand. Yeah. Or the eye or the ear. That's it. But guess what? Right. All the internal organs uh -huh. and all these body parts work as one. Yeah. Yes. So that's what he wants his body. Yes. That's what he wants the body of Christ yes. to do. Thank to you, work Lord. together as one. So whatever it is that you do, you know what? I'm going to do it to my greatest and I'm going to do it unto you, Lord. Uh -huh. And that's all he wants you to do. Yeah. If he moves you on to something else, then do it. But whatever he calls you to do, yeah. do it as unto him Amen. and not unto men. That's okay? right. When you do it unto men, Praise you're God. looking for recognition. Yes. You're looking for a pat in the back. Oh, yeah. You look and say, hey, you did a great job. Guess uh -huh. what? When I clean, when I do what I do for the Lord, uh -huh. I've already accepted yeah. my pay. Amen. I've already accepted my reward. Hallelujah. He's already done it all. He's already paid in full. Mm. I say, Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Yes. So whether man sees it or not, you know what? Man's going to be jealous. And they may not say anything to you. So if you was mm -hmm. waiting for it and you didn't get it, guess what? That's your your emotions are just going mm -hmm. down. You say, well, mm -hmm. I'm not going to do it again. Mm -hmm. But God wants you to do it. So what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to do it on him with a smile every time. <laughs> yeah. And people going to get upset. You know why? Because yeah. they shot their best shot and they couldn't bring you down. Yeah. When they see that, they see, you know, there's something greater about them. Mm -hmm. You know what their greater sin, greatness mm -hmm. is? It's Jesus. Yes, so you know, if we could try to put you down, Amen. and we couldn't, why? Right. Why? What kept you going? Uh -huh. Jesus. Well, I want you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh -huh. Praise God. Amen. <laughs> Give to God be the glory. Amen. Amen. Yes. <laughs> to Jesus, our first priority in life is to be, is to be passionate in serving yes. Him and following yes. Him. Of course, Matthew six thirty three tells us that. Amen. <laughs> he will not accept us half hearted, half. Half-hearted service. Mm -hmm. Being a jealous God simply means this. I'm going to read you some of these. Mm. He wants all of us. Yes. Not some of us. Yes. <laughs> Not part-time. Uh -huh. He wants us 
totally and completely committed, totally surrendered to him. He wants our unwavering loyalty. Yes. He wants to be first in our list, first in our lives. Yeah. <laughs> the Bible says to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Matthew yes. 6, 33. Yes. When you seek him first, seek him everything first. else can wait. Yes. <laughs> That's Lord, right. you're first. Yes. And you know, you've taken the world and you've taken yourself off the throne and you say, Lord, you're first. You're on the throne, not me. Mm. And you serve him. And whatever he wants you to do, you do. Just be obedient. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes. He yes. wants you totally, mm -hmm. totally, totally. He said he wants you available. When you make yourself available, it's not about your abilities, mm -hmm. what I can do. Mm -hmm. to get recognition or what I can do right. what's in me. Right. It's about your availability. Are you available when he wow. calls? Hallelujah. Make yourself yes. available. Amen. Yes. He wants us to hunger mm. and thirst for more of him. Yes. You know how you hunger and thirst for more of him? Mm. You have a relationship. Mm -hmm. And you're there for him. He's there. He's there right there. And you spend time in his word. Yeah. And you spend time studying. And you spend yeah. time talking to him. I don't know how to pray. Well, open the word and uh -huh. read it. That's praying to him. Amen. Amen. Spend time with him. He wants relationship. That's Christianity. Yes. That's relationship. Religion is just a little bitty God oh. and a whole lot of man-made uh -huh. rules that you can never live up Come to. On. Amen. Then you feel sad about yourself. You feel bad about yourself because you can never achieve the goal. Yeah. Amen. It's so high. Mm -hmm. Nobody can do it. Mm. He wants it. <clears throat> It was his purpose for our lives to be the most important purpose of our lives. Amen. Amen. He's called us to live a passionate living for Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. Romans 12, chapter 12, verses 11 and 12. This is the New Life version. Romans chapter 12, verse 11 and 12. <laughs> I'm going to read it to you from the New Life version in the uh, NIV. <clears throat> You're the pastor, huh? Yes. Says, don't be lazy. Do uh -huh. not be lazy, but always work hard. Uh huh. <laughs> work for the Lord with a heart full of love for Him. Yes. <laughs> with a heart full of joy for Him. Mm -hmm. Be happy in your hope. Do not give up. When trouble comes, don't let anything stop you That's right. from praying. Amen. That's right. Amen. Uh, Amen. This is my Bible. I don't know about yours. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you can read it. And you know, sometimes, hey, I love King James Version on myself. But I, I go to other translations to find out other versions, to find out, you know, what it says. Sometimes I go to an English version to find out. Romans 12, 1, excuse me, Romans 12, chapter 12, verses 11 and 12 in the NIV says this. Verse 11, never be lacking or lazy in zeal, mm. in passion, but keep your spiritual fervor or passion serving God. <laughs> mm. 12, be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, yeah. faithful in prayer. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So keep that passion up. It's yes. up to us to keep it, you know? Yeah. He says to keep yourself stirred up, keep yeah. yourself up. Uh, 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 on fire for him. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. If you don't renew your mind, if you don't feed your spirit the word, mm -hmm. if you don't renew your mind with the word of God and crucify your flesh, mm -hmm. and you start mm -hmm. dropping off, and mm -hmm. you start hanging with the wrong ground, mm -hmm. and you start listening to the wrong things mm -hmm. in, a, in the world, where you hang out, TV, radio, anywhere, you start listening. You got to watch your eye gate, your ear gate, mm -hmm. and what's coming in. Yeah. Because they're gonna bring you down. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna start acting like the world. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you gotta be yeah. careful not to give in to those things. Amen. Amen. And he says you gotta keep your passion up. This is your walk is your walk. Yes. Your words are your words. Mm -hmm. You know, one day you'll have to stand before him and give an account. Yes. And it's not gonna be about what group you hang out with or what religion or what uh uh persons you hang up with. It's about you and him Amen. and the words you spoke. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're going to have to give an account for yourself. So you know sometimes that will keep you from hanging out where you shouldn't be. Yeah. 
So you got to be careful mm -hmm. in the words, your words, your actions. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Passion means, I'll just give you a quick definition, means commitment, means fervor, means dedication, and zeal. You got to keep that zeal going. Amen. Somebody is not going to do it for you, especially if they're jealous. We don't yeah. want you to do that no more. So you got to keep that passion going yourself. Uh -huh. Amen. The Bible word passion means fervor, means hot, or yes. glow, glowing yes. hot. Amen. 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 Yes. <laughs> I want to stay on fire, you know, when someone, something comes, it won't move you. <laughs> you know, right. when the storms of life come, they won't move you yeah. to the left or to the right. Amen. You are solid. Yes. You are solid on Him. You are solid Amen. on the Word. Nothing's going to move you or shake you. Yes. Because your feet are on Him. Amen. On the Word. On, on Him. Amen. And guess what? The storms will come. Mm -hmm. But you got to be strong enough to say, uh -uh. I'm going to stay on passion. I'm going to stay passionate. I'm going to stay hot. I'm going to stay blowing, uh, boiling. I'm going to stay glowing for Him. Amen. Amen. Uh, Re uh, Revelation 3.16 says, So, because you are lukewarm and neither hot nor cold, oh, he says, I will spit mm. you out of my mouth. Yep. <laughs> I will spit you out of my mouth. So, guess what? He said, I'd rather have you hot or cold. Mm -hmm. But don't play this part-time stuff yeah. about being lukewarm. Uh -huh. He said, be on fire for me. Amen. He wants his best for you. Amen. We need to have given our best. Yes. Amen. We can do, the Bible says you can do all things. You can do all, all these things. things. In the Amplified Version, it says, a glow, burning <laughs> with the Spirit, serving God. Ooh, Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I just want you to be excited. Amen. Oh, Next yeah. month is our anniversary month. But every day, we serve Him. Mm -hmm. Be passionate about serving mm -hmm. Him on a daily basis, not just once in a while. That's right. Amen. That's Amen. Right. He's not in the once in a while. <laughs> He wants it now. Amen. Be excited. Be thrilled. Be energetic. Amen. Be active. Passionate people are people who are consumed with, and I'll give you a few. Mm. <laughs> That's you. Say, I'm a passionate person. I'm a passionate person. Serving God. Amen. Serving God. Number one is this. Fulfill what God has called you to do. Passion is the motivating force that caused you to to see your dreams come true. See, I'm chaining it to you. But all these Bible heroes in the past were passionate for Him. Mm -hmm. We need, we can do the same thing. The same blessings they got, we're going to get. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Passion empowers you to overcome fear, doubt, and disagreement. Mm -hmm. Yes, these things will come visit you. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Stay passionate. You yes. have the power. You have the authority to say, yes. uh -uh. God is not giving you a spirit of fear. The Sorry. power loving of a sound, sound mind. mind. Amen. Doubt. Renew your mind. Get doubt out of your mind. Mm -hmm. Amen. Just hit the leap. Get it out. This is what the Word of God yes. says. Amen. The Word of God says you are. You can do it. Yes. You're a winner. Amen. You're a champion. You're yes. an overcomer. Amen. Greater is he that sent me than he that sent the world. That's right. Passion and kept them moving forward in spite of how many times they've experienced setbacks. Mm -hmm. But you never see. <laughs> Are you praying for the person speaking? Mm -hmm. Are you praying for the person next to you? Mm -hmm. You don't know what they've been through. You don't know what setbacks they've been through. Mm -hmm. And you're already judging. You know, we do that a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, sit back and say, well, mm -hmm. who does she think she is? Mm -hmm. Who does he think he is? Mm -hmm. You don't know where they've been and what God's brought them through. That's right. Pray for them. Amen. You know, when you pray for them, he's going to bless you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We got it. We got it. We got one enemy. So we don't need to be enemies with nobody. That's right. The enemy is Satan. Amen. Yes. Woo. Passion picks them up. Yes. No matter how many times they get knocked down. How many uh -huh. times you've been knocked down? Oh boy. A few, quite a few. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you know, it's okay. The main thing is, I'm giving up. Yeah. Enemy, you can't hold me down. That's right. Amen. Enemy or whoever mm -hmm. is trying to hold you down. Mm -hmm. You can't hold me down because greater is he that sent me. I'm getting up. I'm a child of God. Uh -huh. I'm not to stay down. I'm to stay stand up. Mm -hmm. I'm standing up with him. Amen. 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 So, Praise use your God. authority. Get up. Yes. The reason many God people never see their vision is because, it's simply because 
They like their passion, mm -hmm. their enthusiasm, their mm -hmm. zeal. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Where's my Miss Vicky? She's not here. You ought to see this woman. This child of God is woman of God when we had our vacation Bible school. <laughs> Woo! Man, the Spirit of God just rises up in her. <laughs> Them kids get too excited, amen? But you know what's the thrill of it is to see these kids uh -huh. singing, dancing, and confessing the Word of God. Amen. It's going to change their lives. Yes. They don't have to wait till they're grown-ups mm -hmm. to receive Jesus. They can receive Jesus now and have their lives changed. Yes. Right now, you know, instead yeah. of waiting. Hallelujah, yeah. it's a thrill. Yes. Vacation Bible schools are great. I yeah. yes. endorse them completely. <laughs> <laughs> Come to Bible so school. <laughs> Yay, the Bible school queen. <laughs> <laughs> Passion is what caught, caused the disciples uh -huh. in the early church to turn yeah. the world upside down. We're not going to go through all this. We're just starting a pre mm -hmm. pep rally for our anniversary month. Amen. Amen. But. The disciples, they were mad at the disciples. Basically, they went before the king and told them, you got to get rid of these guys. <laughs> <laughs> we can't stand these guys. They turned in our world upside down. Uh -huh. You know, get rid of them. Mm -hmm. You know, leave, go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's what Acts 17, uh, 6 says, New Living Translation. Not finding them there, they dragged down Jason and some of the other believers instead and uh -huh. took them. Before the council, city council, says Paul and Silas had caused trouble all over the world. They yes. shouted. And now they are uh, here disturbing our city too. Uh -huh. These men who have turned the world upside down have come here. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Listen to this. We must disturb our cities of Marfa, Galpa, <laughs> 48 minutes Presidio, the Blue Bay area for Jesus. That's Amen. all right. We, we, we can do this, amen? amen? We can do this. We need to disturb because they're too set in their ways. Yeah. <laughs> we need to bring the word of God. Amen. 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 Passages will call Peter and John to defy the religious leaders oh, yeah. of their days when they were told never to preach oh, Jesus geez. again. <laughs> amen. amen? Their passion caused them to ignore their threats. Because God has not given me a spirit of fear. That's right. But a power of and of a sound mind. Sound this is mind. what God wants you to do. Amen. So don't be ashamed of yes. what God's called to do. That's Just right. do what He's do what He's called you to do. Amen. Do it. Because Amen. the Bible says you can do it. Just do it. Yes. Amen. yes. And that's not Nike. <laughs> that's the word of God. Just do yes. it. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Amen. <laughs> Praise God, praise amen, God, praise amen, God. Amen, amen. Passion caused him to boldly declare. Yeah. We cannot stop telling them about everything oh, we have gosh. seen and heard. That's Passion right. will not allow them to be silent. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's the thing. Passion won't allow yes. them to be silent. That's it. You know, if you got the word in you, it's got to come out. Yes. Thank but you you got to be careful. Praise God. Not to let the bad out, uh -huh. but to let the word of God out. Amen. 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 Because Thank when you let the word of God, it's going to complete what it's supposed yes. to do. Thank you, Lord. When you're passionate and stay hungry and thirsty for more Praise of God. Him, Amen. when you're hungry and thirsty, yes. you overflow. Yes. Amen. Amen. When you fill the glass over, it overflows. Uh -huh. Out of the overflow, it says, out yeah. of your innermost being shall flow the rivers yeah. of living water. Amen. That word has got to come out of you. And guess what? <laughs> the word works uh -huh. if you release it. Yes. The word yeah. works works when you release it amen? Yes. so you got to release it to do its job amen. when you overflow his word has uh -huh. to come out yes amen his word comes out you can stay you can't stay silent uh -huh. Hallelujah. we're going to stop right there amen. We can Praise up from there. but Thank amen. You, Lord. if you're passionate you can't be silent That's amen. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. you can't be silent it's got to come out it's got to come out you know how the world speaks what they want to speak Amen. Amen. Everybody come out of their closet saying anything they want to say. <laughs> hey, yeah. we can come out of uh, ourselves yes. <laughs> and just let, let them know. <laughs> I'm a child of God. Amen. You know, if you don't want to hear about Jesus, go somewhere else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's going to come out of me. Amen. Yes. It's going to come out of you. Hallelujah. When Praise we release the, the word of God, the power of God yeah. you know, from our mm -hmm. mouths, mm -hmm. it's going to accomplish what God intended it to do. Amen. Yes. He spoke the world into existence with his words. 
Yes. And he says, my word goes out and accomplishes what I send it out to do. Mm -hmm. So guess what? We're speaking the word. When we release it, it does mm -hmm. what we send it out to do. Amen. 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 So praise God. And stop right there. Say, I receive. I receive. I receive. Amen. Amen. All Amen. those of you that are watching, if you never accepted Jesus, now's your time. Yes. Amen. Just say, Lord Jesus, I've sinned against you. I repent. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Yes. Come into my heart Amen. and be my Lord and Savior. And guess what? All you have to do is find yourself a church where you can go and start learning the Word. Amen. Amen. Just pick up your Bible and start reading the Bible. Mm -hmm. Study to show yourself approved. Amen. Mm -hmm. So Amen. praise God. Do this. And God is going to change you totally. And Amen. God is going to use you. Amen. So yes. praise God. If you're hurting, just speak healing into your body right now. In the name of Jesus, I tell you, He wants... Bible says, by Jesus' stripes, you were healed. Yes. Amen. So I say, I receive my healing right now in Jesus' name. Say, Amen. Jesus, yes. I command you to leave my body right now in Jesus' name. Whatever is attacking your body, yes. I command it to go right now Amen. in Jesus' name. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. I receive. Come on, yes. Lord. Praise Jesus. God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Pastor Pat, you're coming.